Good afternoon, gentlemen. SBG, Active Aussie here. Sunday afternoon, it's about 4.30 p.m. I've just come across this groovy little park. It's about two and a half kilometers from my house. And I've driven past here many times, but I've never really taken much notice of it. It's near a very busy road, but um, it's still very peaceful. So just happy to have come across this small park. I just watched the latest video uploaded by MGTOW Infinium titled MGTOW is not cope. And I've thought about this and I agree that MGTOW is not a type of cope. In my instance, I have adopted the MGTOW lifestyle or strategy, so to speak, because I feel that MGTOW is a practical strategy that men can use to improve their lives, to improve our lives and to reduce a lot of pressure and stress in our lives and also to live a more minimalist and simple, simplistic type of lifestyle. And I feel that to have a more simple, minimalist, uncluttered type of life is a really good thing, a really positive thing. I've always felt better, felt happier when I had a lot less mental stress in my life, a lot less physical and mental clutter within my life. So over the last five years or so, I found that minimalism for me has turned out to be a very positive thing indeed. And yesterday I spent a lot of time decluttering my apartment and um, cleaning it up and whenever I have less mental and physical clutter in my life I always feel a reduced amount of stress and in that video by MGTOW Infidium he also talked about how MGTOW now are still being portrayed, MGTOW men are being portrayed as being gay, as being women haters, as being misogynists, and even as labeled as being terrorists in some instances. And you might remember back in February, I uploaded a video in regard to the Wikipedia description of MGTOW, and straight away MGTOW was labeled as being a misogynistic alt-right sort of movement with links to white supremacy and especially in regard to the white supremacy thing I had a really good chuckle a good laugh about that because I think the majority of MGTOWs are not racist at all and MGTOW men can be black white Asian it's not about nationality race it's about men finding an alternative path within our lives and not just going with the flow and doing the same thing as most other men, most blue pillars are doing. So MGTOW is always going to be the subject of ridicule and stereotypes to some extent and going into the future as well. But I think for many men, a MGTOW type path can be very beneficial, although you have to have a certain degree of discipline to live out a MGTOW type lifestyle. And some men have been MGTOWs for a very long time, but back in the day, they were just called bachelors and were just single men doing their own thing and just minding their own business 
and living a content and happy life. So those men were going their own way back in the 70s and 80s as well. But I feel now that there's more of an imperative to adopt a type of MGTOW lifestyle in 2023, even if you don't want to become like a type of um, radical sort of MGTOW. For example, I'm not a MGTOW monk, but it's definitely no marriage and no dating. And sometimes you just have to be very careful in regard to your general interactions with women. And those sort of problems have been discussed many, many times. So we must be on our guard. We must be wary. That's about all I've got to say. I'm just at a suburb called Maruka, which is near Chardon's Corner and Annerley, where I live. And I know this area pretty well, but I never come to this park. I've never been to this park before. But when I was about, I think I was 17, almost 18, I applied for a job at this Red Rooster here. It's a fast food outlet where they sell fried chicken and hamburgers, I think now. But it was quite amusing because when I went in there to apply for the job, the manager said that I didn't have enough experience, even though I'd been working in hospitality for a year at the time. I'd worked for a catering company for six months and I'd worked at a restaurant also for six months. But this guy in there said, oh, you don't have experience within the fast food industry, which I thought was um, really weird. So it was that store there, but it's been renovated now. But that's um, a long, long time ago, about late 85, early 86, I think. But I remember that really well. That's about all for now. I hope you're all having a happy Sunday or Saturday night, wherever you are, and hope to talk to you soon. Cheers.